Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I will be finishing up my son's closet. If you missed the video where I started the build, I will have it linked down below. Um, it's a long video. I basically shared a step-by-step -step process of just throwing together a custom closet in his room and it turned out great. I have to do all the caulking today and I will start painting and doing like all the finishing touches to really bring it together. So I'm really excited about that, to share that with you guys. Um, I'm really not sure what paint color I'm gonna use just yet. I originally said green in that video, but I'm kind of second guessing it because it's a closet and I don't want it to feel like super small. So I'll probably just test out a few colors that I have um, on hand and just see what looks the best. But um, I'm gonna run outside and get my caulking gun at the caulk get a towel with some water on it because anytime I am caulking anything, I always make sure to have baby wipes or just a wet towel on hand. And I'll show you guys how to do it. It's super easy. Um, it just, it honestly, it just takes practice to kind of get good at it. But I'm gonna do that. And then <gasps> once it's dry, I can start painting. Okay, so I have gotten a lot of questions on how to use a caulking gun. I have shared this in the past, so you can skip ahead if you already know how to do it. But for those who don't know how to use one of these, um, they're fairly inexpensive. You can get them at Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart. But this is what it looks like. Mine's a little older, so it's missing a few of the like awesome features that some of them have. But this is just a basic caulking gun. Here's what your tube of caulk looks like. You always want to make sure to get white and make sure that it's paintable. Make sure you read it because there's a lot that are not. And if you try to paint over it, the paint will peel right off. I like to use white because the clear is like super hard to see in my opinion. So white, paintable, trim, molding, caulk is what you're looking for. And I like the DAP brand. So here's the caulking gun. What you're gonna do is take your tube, you slide it in right here on this side, and then it clicks in like that. You can push this button here and slide that, okay? Or if you don't slide the button, let me show you another way. So if you don't do that, you can just kind of pull the trigger and it'll tighten it up. However, you don't want to tighten it up until after you've cut it because if you have it tight, like locked in, and you cut it, the caulk will just like pour out. So you want to make sure that it's loose until after you cut. So what I do, I'm actually going to use the dog's toenail clippers to cut mine just because it works really well and they're super sharp. So I like to cut mine at an angle and that's what it looks like. And then now, whenever you tighten it, it'll start pouring out like that. And make sure, like it comes out pretty quick. So you gotta make sure that you loosen this every time you're not using it or it'll just steadily pour out. I like to have like a white towel on hand just so that way I can wipe it off and I don't have like a huge mess. So grab you some baby wipes or wet towel. That will make it so much easier and cleaner to get the project done. Before I dive into caulking all the seams, I need to clean out his closet again. I actually just cleaned up yesterday and got his room all tidied up and everything that needed to go back in the closet, I kind of just set on the shelves. So I need to pull all that out really quick. I'm just gonna stack it on top of his bed um, and get started. I would say use spackling for the nail holes over the caulk. It just smooths out better. I just don't have any on hand right now, so I'm gonna use the caulk. If I need to go back in later with some spackling, I can always add it and repaint it. Um, but I'm just gonna work with what I got on hand so I don't have to go to the store. Because every time you go to the store, you go for one thing and you walk out with like five. So I'm trying to avoid the stores at the moment. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna clean this out and get started. start right here so that way I can like show you how to do this super easy so I just take the caulking gun and then just gently press 
We do a little dab there, dab there. painting and I am having a hard time deciding on if I want to go with green or black so I think either one is gonna look okay it's gonna look fine but my heart tells me to go with black just because I love the look of a black custom closet so I think I'm gonna go with my gut and just paint it black I already have the paint on hand it's the same paint that I use in my living room um so it's not like i'm spending any extra money god forbid i hate it i can always go back in later and paint it green you know what i mean like it's not that big of a deal paint's just paint it can always be cha um, changed so i'm gonna go with black and just go for it and hope for the best and now i'm kind of regretting not buying the black rods because they had an option for the black rods with the black holders so I may just take these out and spray paint them and then clear coat them really well so that way they don't get scuffed up. I probably will do that later. I'm just going to start with painting it black. But I am going to leave the dresser as is. I'm not painting the dresser. I love the look of like the wood look with black. So I'm going to just try it and just see how it goes. Worst case scenario, like I said, I hate it. I can always paint it. It's not that big of a deal. But you, do, you never know until you try. So sometimes you just got to go for it. And my gut tells me go with black. So... I'm going to trust my gut. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, it's too late now, no going back.
All right, so the closet took me forever to get painted, but got it done. Um, and here's how it looked after the first coat, actually second coat, but with like a few touch-ups I still needed to make. So looking good, I love the color. Um, this is Tricorn Black, by the way, by Sherwin-Williams. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start organizing some of his toys. So I'm taking this clear shoe bin. I find these at Walmart. They come in a two pack for 10 bucks. I love them. I've been raving about them for the past couple months, but I'm going to put his little train set in here and this is going to go at the top shelf. After getting this in place, I'm going to go ahead and grab some more bins that I got from Walmart. Um, these I actually borrowed from my daughter's room because she's no longer like really utilizing them. So I thought it would work best in his room. So these are stackable storage bins and they come with lids. I really like them a lot. So I grabbed these out of her room and I'm going to store some of his things in here that we don't really need to get too often. So I'm going to put all this in place and put those at the very top of the closet. So originally I was trying to fit this toy that he had not opened yet. Um, but I decided to just leave it with just the Nerf bullets and then just put that toy on the shelf. Maybe he'll open it. He hasn't opened it yet. It's like really odd <laughs> to be honest because it's been in his closet for a while and I'm surprised he hasn't tore open the box. He got it for Christmas. So I don't know why he hasn't opened it yet, but anyway, I'm putting these bins at the very top. Um, and I was trying to peel off the label, but then I couldn't get it off. So I just turned it around so you couldn't see it. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this in another one of the bins this is going to take like years to put together i bought these from amazon it's like a little farmhouse i didn't know that you had to put it together yourself like i thought it came put together and i feel like this is going to take too much time so this is going to be like a whole day project so i put that in one of the bins maybe we can work on that this weekend um and then i'm going to go ahead and start organizing the rest of his shelves with his like hats and his shoes and all that um this is like my favorite part I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's the happy girl that I know with a heart on fire Okay, so his closet is done. It looks so good. It looks like super sophisticated with it being like all black and stuff. I don't know, I love it and I like the way it looks with the dresser. So super happy I went with black and I just kind of organized stuff as best as I could with what I have on hand um, to organize with. So it turned out great. I can't wait for him to see it. He's gonna love like all his little hats lined up in his shoes and stuff, it's so cute. Um, a few touch-ups I need to make. I have to get a small piece of trim to go from this board down to the board down at the bottom. That way I can paint it so it's not as noticeable. That's how I attached this board to the dresser. So it was a must, but I ran out of small little trim. So I'll just have to get some of that and paint it, nail it up, call it a day. So it'll look good. But um, other than that, it looks great. I'm super happy with it. Let me turn the camera around and show you guys how it turned out.
Okay, so now that I shared this in the closet, I need to tidy up his room. I have like just random stuff everywhere and it was so cute this morning because I had cleaned his whole room yesterday so when he got home from school, he was so happy that his room was like spotless because before when I was working on the closet, it was just a disaster in here. It really wasn't a space to play at the moment. So like for two days, he didn't have a bedroom. Poor thing. <laughs> so he was super happy yesterday when his room was all tidied up. He was so excited. And this morning he got up and he like made his bed and everything. It's so cute. So I'm leaving it how he made it because I think it's adorable. I just got to get all my garbage and stuff out. And since I organize a lot of stuff into the bins, there's a lot of boxes I can recycle. So I'm going to get all that out of here. And um, yeah. I'll show you an overview of his room and how it looked like way before and then what it looks like now without the dresser in the space. I'll just do like an older overview because um, I think I took one about a month ago when my mom and I like rearranged his room. And he loves the setup now, by the way, like with his bed over here versus like up underneath the window. And I don't blame him. I remember like, heck, to this day, I don't like sleeping underneath the window. Who does? Nobody. I don't know anybody who likes to sleep under a window. And I think it's like crazy to me that this room has two windows. This would actually make a perfect office space because it's like a small room. Like it's really not that big. So this would be a perfect office if we close in the carport and make that an extra room or extra two rooms actually. Because we could. Here's what I was like wanting to do a while ago. We're not doing it now by the way it'll be a long time if we decide to do this but we actually want to stay here because it's cheap and we will have this house paid off at an early age like why would we move you know what i'm saying so i think just financially it makes more sense to stay where we are so we were talking like long term we're probably going to need a little bit more space as the kids get bigger so we could close in our carport and make that either like a big family room or blow out the closet here so basically just make this one whole long hallway right out to where the carport is and then we could do two more rooms back there we could have a guest room and then i could have an office and this could be my office because i like that it has the two windows i don't know i don't know there's a lot to decide or we could just literally blow out this and do one room so then we would have a four bedroom house office slash slash bedroom so this would be like an office and then we'd have another bedroom i don't know it, it, there's a lot to think about and that's like a lot to do um because i mean all of that would have to be rebuilt it's just dreaming <laughs> do y'all ever do that like look at your house and like try to figure out where you could put a whole nother room i do it all the time i'm like well could we put one outside like outside the kitchen window and just like rearrange the whole kitchen we could probably do one over in the front like i i think about it all the time i also think about making like an entryway to where like when you walk in the front door you don't walk into like the way that it's set up now sorry i'm rambling um let me get this room cleaned up Okay, so here's the new setup. You can see it has so much more room to play. Um, so we love that. I need to reorganize all this, but not today. <laughs> um, he made his bed this morning, so I'm leaving that as is. But you can see there's just so much more space without the dresser in here, and he's going to love it. I um, have the closet door right here. I need to stick back on there. I'm just going to wait for my husband to come home to help me just because... It'll be a lot easier with his help versus me trying to um, get it into the hooks and smash in my fingers. But I love the way it turned out. It looks so good in here. I cannot wait to show him. That's all the boxes I got to recycle. <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks great. All right, so I'm actually going to run to Publix. I got to change. I got paint all on my shirt, but it'll wash out. Don't worry. It's like water-based paint and usually it comes right out of my clothes if I get it on me um but I'm gonna run go get some ground beef I want to have hamburgers for dinner tonight so I gotta get some hamburger buns as well because I don't have any and I don't know why but I'm just craving a good cheeseburger I just want a cheeseburger oh my gosh you're so cute I can't with you um and then when I come back I need to load up the yard sale stuff that I have for the yard sale that my mom and my grandma are having today that I was not a part of because I had so much other stuff going on. Like, 
I was so far behind, I had to get like filming and get, like some work done. So yeah, I didn't get to go over there yesterday and bring all my stuff. So now I'm gonna load it up today, hopefully take it over there first thing tomorrow morning instead. And I'm filming a separate vlog for that if you guys want to check it out whenever it goes live. Oh my gosh, I just, what? You're so handsy. You are, you're just handsy, so, so neat. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and watching part two of the closet transformation. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you over on my next video and I will see all of you then. Bye, y'all.